Let's talk truth here. Oh yeah, we're gonna go into it now. Ah, no holds barred. You know, I've got two years with you before something really, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know, okay? I, I can't say, but I sense something. It could be personal. Uh, it could be global. Uh, probably a combination of both because we are that. That is I am. Let's talk truth. Let's just freaking put it out there. <laughs> I'm watching everything and thinking, why aren't we stopping all of this? Why aren't we transitioning? Why aren't we taking advantage of everything that's available to us? We have all these secrets out there waiting to be exposed in the Sphinx, the pyramids, for centuries, we know others have been here and then left us with gifts. And what have we done with it? We've totally it up. You ready for this? I'm going to tell you the truth. And tell me if you don't feel this too. Let's be really honest here. You ready for that? Truth, like right here. Let's go. Welcome to Landria Anka on YouTube here to help you break through fears and live an amazing life. Life that you know that was a real weak. That was a weak snap there. Okay, um, so please subscribe. It keeps me going. This is what I do for a living. Those of you who say, "Oh, yeah, I just do this on my free time." No, do you know how many hours it takes to get the downloads? By the way, I don't plan anything. There's channels that. You know, they have script makers and, you know, editors. And also, I, it's me. It's me. Why? Because when I get something, I tell you, I'm coming from a completely different place. I'm going to tell you right now what I just got. We all have exciting roles here. And without the controversy and the contrast, none of it works. So I want you to remember something. So I'm here. I have distinct memories of being on another planet with great conflict, not amongst the people that, the people were totally peaceful, the meek. I've talked about this before. Others were battling. We had to leave the planet. I was part of the team that did remove people from the planet. The skies were dark. It was not a good ending but it was one of many. The adventures continue, don't they? Let's be really honest. Maybe I've been here many times. I do have some other memories of being here. So let me ask you a question. What is any of it without the controversy and the challenges? What is it? Nothing, it's nothing, it's nothing. It's euphoria, right, that we go into without controversy or challenges. We have no forms. We have no labels. We have no names. We're not angels. We're not anything. We're just pure light beings. That's why I said some of you will be upset when I say the archangels are illusions too. They're appearing as a form that you need to be comfortable with. They're just ultimate light forms playing roles, playing roles, and there's more and more and more above that and above that and above that. And there's the Council of Nine, which I was told about. I didn't meet them, I met one of them. And I said, you are thinking, I know you aren't God or even Christ. He says, no, I oversee the galaxies, this galaxy. He said, there are others that I answer to. What? That was, that was new. What, what? Wait a minute. You oversee the galaxy with others? There's nine of them? What's that? 
I'd never heard of that. I don't, you know, I don't watch all that stuff. I don't watch anything because I want my energy, my downloads to be pure. And he says, yes. He says, I oversee the galaxy. There are nine of us. They have assignments and they're much more vast. And then we're here and here and here and here. We came into a very dense existence. Now, here's the interesting part. We love it. Don't tell me you don't love to be scared. Don't tell me you don't love adventure or challenges or when your world gets shook up a little bit. Don't tell me you don't love it when you fall in love and it's so amazing and oh, this is it. And then they do something and you're like, oh, oh God, I wish my life was over. And then, and then you meet somebody else and it's a wonderful again. And then you're healthy and you're like, then you get sick and you go, oh, I so appreciate life. And then you have money and you go, oh, this isn't everything. I thought it'd make me happy and I'm not happy. And then, oh, and then you're broke and you think, oh, I'm so thankful for the things that I have. Now I know what life's about and it goes on and on and on. You know, I watch these commercials. This is a big thing right now. All these amazing songs that I grew up with. I mean, amazing songs from the 70s and 80s and 90s. They're all commercials now. They're using these beautiful songs and they're attaching them to pharmaceuticals, insurance, you name it, junk food. We're selling ourselves out. We're just selling ourselves out. It's not enough that I made a fortune off these songs. If somebody offers me enough, no matter what they're promoting. I'll take the money. What are you doing? Are you selling yourself out? I'm going to tell you something. I have an opportunity to assist in a film that is going to push the lines about what's going on out there. Now, I have been an investment banker involved in a lot of movies movie deals. And there was one about a political candidate quite some time ago that was revealing certain things. And we got an investor. And guess what? They got audited. Mm -hmm. And all of their assets got frozen. So we lost our investor. This is the, sh it goes on here. This is the game. It's the game and it's exciting. Isn't it? Wow. Like a movie. Why do you watch all those movies? Why do we watch movies where there's good and evil? And then you believe all this stuff out there. And then you have influencers giving you all these stories because they get subs and they get more advertising dollars and they make all this money. People like me, slowly growing, slowly growing, not making that much money, by the way. Why? I won't sell myself out. But I'm starting to speak out a little more. Have you noticed that? I won't sell myself out. And by the way, I've been offered the opportunity. So I have this movie sitting out there and I said, just what happens when I step into that world where we speak up about what's really going on? Does anybody really care? And a part of me says, you don't really care. Now, hear me out on this one. You sort of like the controversy. You sort of like the game, don't you? You like the back and forth. It's exciting. What if we were all just lovey-dovey, giving, nobody had to achieve anything? Probably be bored out of your brains, wouldn't you? If there's no one to assist, you can't be the hero, you can't be the t caretaker, you can't be the, the compassionate one if there's nothing to be compassionate about. There's something to be said about that. That's the matrix. That's the game. There are opportunities. It's always a choice. So it exists. Will you sell your song to some pharmaceutical company who's going to attach something that you loved 
that people loved and associate with, especially my age group, baby boomers. Certain things that we loved, that songs attach now to taking a, a pill. It takes on a different slant, doesn't it? Oh, we're very influential. You are more than you know. It is the controversy that we're addicted to. It's the fear. I say break through fear. I don't ever say eliminate fear because fear is what drives us. It's what makes you do something about your income or your relationships or your health. It, it drives you because the fear of what that over here represents that takes you to over here. That takes you into that beautiful space and then you get there and you say, now what? Now what? Admit it. Admit it. It's addictive, isn't it? Watching things on television. Dateline and 2020 and true crime stories. and It's addictive. It's fascinating. Because it's everything we're exploring and that's okay. It's okay. But be aware of where you spend your energy. Focus. What you entangle with. So... You're going to bring that energy into your dreams and your manifestations. It's a choice. So as fascinating as it is, I suggest that you put a, a limit to it. And then focus on the decorative things and the creative things and the artistic things and the singing and the, all the other things that are out there that will entertain you in a positive way. Go ahead and enjoy this world. It's amazing. The Matrix is supplying every fascinating aspect of the darkness that is not good nor bad. It just is. And it allows us to achieve something pretty amazing here, doesn't it? Yeah, you love it, don't you? Admit it. Admit it. Are you depressed? Are you anxious? It's okay because that's just a temporary situation. It's something you'll know because there's something greater. And when you go to the greater, it becomes even more amazing because you knew the darkness, you knew the depression, you knew the sadness. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And we can change any of it. But it is neither good nor bad. So be careful what you think about this whole experience that you're in for. It's all by design, by all of us. We love it, we signed up for it, we're creating it. And we are coming here together as one family. Yeah, start, start loving your family. Yeah, because we have some other chapters coming up that are gonna be more amazing than you can possibly imagine. Okay, so you guys have seen Breakthrough Fear have told me it's blowing your mind. It's meant to blow your mind because it's going to open the doors to something so amazing. And if you tap into that power, if you read my book, it was a download, if you tap into that power, you can do things that will absolutely amaze you. My students do all the time. Those of you, digital explorers, we are creating profitable business structures, structures. I'm not responsible for your success, but I'll set you up for it based on your passions. You can create your own business based on your passions. Imagine living like that. Imagine getting up and creating uh, income, doing something that really has positive meaning. You become the warrior, the peaceful warrior. The change maker, I like that word better, in a world that's controversial. You get to do that. It would mean nothing out there in euphoria, but here it has great meaning to change lives, to do something positive amidst the controversy. It's beautiful. Grasp it. Take it in. Know it. 
and make those higher choices, they're even more outstanding because you're here. They're whole and perfect, strong and powerful, loving, harmonious and happy. Blessings to you, my friend. Namaste. Be sure to check out my book, Breakthrough Fear, Your Spiritual Butt Kick, on Amazon. It will blow your mind. It talks about exactly how all of this works. You can find that link in the description.